Hello, I'm Melissa Wu from EXP Realty. Today, I want to talk about time efficiency. Time efficiency, how we can leverage technology and how we can get more time, right? Um, a lot of uh, often every day or every week or now even every year pass by us just like that. So we wonder where did the time go and what have I done, right? So there are always uh, time thieves, people that want to take our time to distract us from focusing on the key money-making activities, right? So either, oh, maybe sometimes a car, I need an oil change or, you know, laundry needs to be done uh, or kitchen need to do the dishes. So, you know, all these things actually distract you and steal your time. And those are not the highest and best use of your time, right? Answering random questions or becoming like coordinating, those things are not making money. Those things are more like service and the kind of part of your economic duties at home, right? So really try to make those a low priority. Make those a low priority. You have to pri those are not like you, you cannot do. You have to make those kind of a D activity where you can delete or delegate out. Delete or delegate out. So your focus is the A activity. A activities, what are those? A activities are phone calling, right? Prospecting, going on listing appointments, going on offers. Those are your A priority activities and interviewing agents for myself, growing my organization, growing my team, interviewing my interview. I want to focus on how I can help you achieve your career, right? So instead of focusing on activities that don't really make money, like the delegate and deleted activities, put those in that category. Now your time, you have to block it. So remember as a new agent, we already send you uh, three or four forms, your career needs analysis, what you want to achieve as, for example, if you want to make 100,000 or 200,000. So you have an income goal. Now you have to do the activities that will produce that income, right? If you're gonna keep doing laundry or keep serving in your car, you are not gonna make the 100 or $200,000 that you wanna make. So now you, you focus your time, block it on outbound contact. I know a lot of people say, oh, Melissa, I don't want to, I don't want to like door knock. It's not my thing. I don't want to like uh, talk to people like, you know, network because of COVID, right? So, you know, you can have all your excuses or reasons to do the things that will not be the money making activities, but those are real and they work. So it's up to you, you know, what you want to do. But in my um, history and uh, experience is prospecting, uh, learning, growing and connecting with people. So people have to know you, like you and trust you in order to do business with you. Right. So and you need to talk to a lot of people. You need to talk to a lot of people in order to make a connection, nurture them and close them. Right. So sometimes I am very fortunate. Sometimes I get calls inbounding to hire me to be their listing agent or hire me to be their buyer agent. So you have to develop your skills, self learn, study and always be in the EXP world because we have 50 hours of live training. If you don't spend two to three hours in EXP world, you are not developing. You are not going to be able to win against other agents in the market competing for the same job, right? So just like Tiger Woods, he practiced eight hours a day on his swing, right? As a realtor, you have to practice your script. You have to research information. You have to analyze the market. You have to be on top of your game. Otherwise, when you go to compete, you're not going to win, right? You cannot answer objections. You cannot win. So very, very, very important is always be a learner to earn, right? So remember, fill out your career needs analysis, fill out your perfect week, fill out your short-term business plan. And for the year 2022, we're going to fill out your our year business plan, right? Your one year business plan. So I will send you all the documents. Please fill it out. It's very important to put a pen to paper because it connects a certain way of us visualizing and then setting our goals in writing. And we have to review it. We have to review our goals weekly, right? Some people review the super top 
leaders, they review their goals every day, right? We are reviewing our goals. If you can do it every day, that's perfect. Every day you look at your priorities. Are these my money making activities? I'm going to focus and let's do those first. Anything that's kind of deletable or delegatable, we just uh, delegate and delete. We focus on our money making activities such as prospecting, returning phone calls, calling people, following up and script practice and learning. Those will help you make money. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your time. And I look forward to the opportunity to work together and grow together and learn together. Hello, I'm Melissa Wu. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it with your family and friends, and smash the like button. Thank you. 你好,我是胡建龙。如果你喜欢这个video的话,请你subscribe to 我们的YouTube channel, 然后跟大家分享,还要给我一个赞。谢谢。你好,我是胡锦龙。如果你喜欢这个video的话,请你subscribe to 我们的YouTube channel,同大家分享,仲有点个赞。多谢。